guys, welcome back to another Maximum Velocity how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about our new uh, Pro Extreme Crytox oil and how to actually apply it to the wheel and the axle. Um, we get a lot of questions about the correct application, so today we're just going to show you how to uh, apply the correct amount of oil to the axle and to the wheel. So, first off, in the, in the vial, you're gonna, before you do any type of application, you're going to want to shake the oil up because there are some friction modifiers in there. Uh, so you want to shake them up and get them evenly dispersed throughout the oil. Um, once you shake it, if you pull the lid off, you're going to see it's got a dripper. Okay, that dripper we're not going to use. So, that dripper will actually put too much oil on each wheel. Uh, unlike graphite, where more is better, oil, less is better. So, to a point. So, I'm going to show you what I use on all the cars that I uh, prep and race with and kind of the process of how I do that. First, we have a wheel that has already been prepped. The board has been prepped and the inside and the outer hub have been prepped. Uh, we do have a video on that uh, from our Derby Evolution and we'll put a link to that in the, the comments here so that you can see how to prep the wheel and get it ready for, for this point. So, you're going to need to make sure after you prep the wheel, you clean the wheel out really well. Make sure that there's no um, fibers, dust, anything inside that bore. You can take your, your magnifying loop and look in there and make sure that it is completely clean. If there is stuff in there, take some compressed air, blow it out uh, until there is nothing left in there but a nice, shiny, smooth surface. So that's the wheel. The axle. Uh, needs to be prepped, polished, uh, and ready to go. So once you've sanded, we, I, I only sand out to about 3,000 uh, grit and then polish it with our, our polishing compound and then I, these are ready to go. So after you polish it, you got to make sure this is completely clean of any foreign substance uh, or debris. So what I do is I'll take some 91 uh, alcohol and I pour it into a little container and what we're going to do is we're going to drop that axle in move it around a little bit um, make sure it gets nice and clean and then I'm going to grab it by the pointy end and then I got a nice clean piece of uh, paper towel and then I'm going to dry this off really really good in this paper towel you'll hear the axle start to squeak as I'm spinning it in here and I just want to make sure that that surface is super, super clean. And make sure you get up against the head and in the groove. All right. So now we've got a super clean axle. Here again, I would take your, your, your magnifying glass and look and make sure that there's no contaminants on there. There's no fibers from the paper towel or dust that's floating in the air. Do you see any? Hit it with uh, some compressed air. Uh, you can either buy a can of it or you have a compressor. Just make sure it's clean before you apply it. So, at this point, if you're going to spray any type of lubricant, or not really lubricant, but silicone product on the axle itself, um, most of the, the league racers and the pro racers use uh, an additive called Jigaloo. Um, and it's a spray you spray on there. And, um, you spray it, let it sit for at least five to ten minutes before you put it into the wheel bore of the axle because it will actually melt the the uh, axle or the, the plastic in the wheel. So you don't want to do that because it's you got to want to let any of the harmful uh, um, chemicals vape off, and it usually takes about five to, to ten minutes. So once you spray, you let it dry. Now it's time to put the the uh, the wheel and the axle together. Now. Before you get to that point though, you're going to want to take some of the oil out of your, your drum here container and get it into another container. So what I've been using lately is a nice little bottle that has this needle tip. Uh, it's made by Plasticator. Uh, this is actually a 27 gauge needle um, and it works really, really good uh, as 
being able to direct the just the one drop of oil out on the axle. You can also use like a hypodermic needle um, that you can get at any pretty much any uh, Walgreens or uh, pharmacy. So, anyways, I've got some oil already sucked up in this container uh, out of here. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our nice clean wheel and our nice clean axle and what I do is I slide the axle in nice and slowly and then I put my fingers on the back side and pinch it and let the axle kind of sit up through like that. Then I will take my applicator and I will come down here and usually I place it right in the groove and I will just place one drop. One drop of oil is all you need. Then I slide the wheel back out to the head, kind of flip it over, and then I spin it. And if you notice, the thing will just sit there and spin for a good bit. Um, the difference between oil and graphite as far as the spinning, there's really no spin times for oil. They will not spin as long as graphite will spin. But they will be much faster than graphite. Oil, when done correctly, uh, is up to two hundredths of a second faster than graphite and with these new oils that we have and this one it, you're closer to three hundredth of hundredths of a second of graphite now the advantages of graphite or of the advantages of oil over graphite is that once you oil this thing it's ready to go I mean and it will run a hundred passes and not have any fall off due to uh, the lubrication being flung out. You don't need to apply any more. Um, in fact, I never recommend adding any more to it. Uh, if you want to reprep it, then I, I recommend you take it all the way down, tear it apart, and clean everything, and then redo your process. But unlike graphite, one drop, one drop out of an applicator, one drop out of this is too much. So this this bottle will last you an eternity for how much you will need in your Pinewood Derby career. Um, now, the lighter amount of oil that you put in there, like the smaller drops you put in there, the, the shorter the time will be that it will last. So, typically if you do one drop out of here, you'll have three weeks uh, to a month of the speed not falling off due to evaporation. If you do two drops out of here, which is still a very good amount, I, I've seen, I've had a car sitting for over three, four months that runs the exact same times as it did when I first applied it. So if you know you have a long distance of time in between your races, it would be good to use a two drops out of this. If you have a really short time between the races, one drop is all you need. Um, I hope this helps. And I hope you guys understand how, how this works and how great it is. Aquoil is a wonderful lubricant for, for Pinewood Derby. It's not messy. It doesn't shed anywhere. Um, it, it, it's phenomenal. It doesn't fall off. Uh, you guys will have great success with the, the Pro Extreme Crytox oil that we offer here at Maximum Velocity. And uh, if you have any questions, please, in the comments, be, feel free to ask and we will answer them as soon as we can. For all of your Pinewood Derby help and helping you guys uh, build a car that reaches maximum velocity, visit us at MaximumVelocity.com. Don't forget the hyphen in between maximum velocity. Take care.